Slang on guys, I found back again with another video and this is 360 degrees on a budget. Okay, like I had said in the previous video, this is going to be 360 degree on a budget. So we will not be using any tripod or anything. Uh, we'll just use a regular cell phone uh, with a, and use the camera built into it uh, for folks that do not have a digital camera or do not want to use one. And like I said, we don't want you spending uh, money on a tripod. So we'll put the camera, uh, put the uh, cell phone on the table here so it doesn't move about. And what you need to do is first take one picture in that direction. Take one snap, then rotate the phone just ever so slightly. Then you take another picture and then you rotate it a little bit more and then you take another picture and so on and so forth till you have a series of photographs that you have taken while moving around the whole room like this. Now this way what you have done is essentially taken pictures, a series of pictures of the whole room all around. Okay, so uh, what we have done is we have gone ahead and imported all the pics we took with the cell phone of the living room. As you can see, uh, let me just open one of these. So this was the straight on chart you see these two chairs uh, here in the bay window if we go to the next shot that the chair on the left is still there but it's towards the right of the screen and this couch has started to appear now the next and you can only see half the couch in the next shot you see almost the full couch so you see you see how it's sort of gradually includes a little bit more of the area to the, the left and ex excludes the area to the to the right and, and so on and so forth this kind of goes around in a, in a, in a circle so uh, what we can do is you got to take all these images and uh, stitch them together into a panorama uh, we're going to use a free software the idea is everything's going to be free in this video uh, the software that we're going to be using is the Microsoft for Microsoft is called the uh, Image Composite Editor. So let's uh, fire that up. I was just checking for updates. Okay, so the option that you want to use is this one here, the new panorama from images. now it shows you the uh, the image that we took so what we gonna do is we are going to go ahead and import all of them into the com uh, image composite editor and you just click on next now essentially what it's doing is it's aligning the images so they line up properly and then it will go through the composition uh, stage and it's essentially what it's doing is it's uh, stitching these images together so they make a panorama. So it's just going through the to the to the motion uh, to the step of this. Now the speed of this process depends on how many images that you have, the resolution of those images, and of course how fast your PC is. There, that's done. So now this is the next screen that shows you. Now this is when it opens up what is the center point. It really doesn't, you don't have to change it, but since I have this bay window here, I'm gonna set that as the center. And now the mo next important thing is the different projections that you have here, what you wanna do is use spherical. And click on next. And what it's doing now is it is creating a, a panorama. There it is. Uh, has created a panorama. Now this option now lets you crop. Now as you can see from here, my phone was shaking just uh, ev you know just ever so slightly. So you have this shake. So what what, gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop that out. There you go. And next. And then finally export to desk and I'll just name it panorama 
Boom, done. Let's go out of this. Okay, now what we need to do is we have this image here. We need to resize it. So we are going to use another free tool called Microsoft Paint. So we're not going to be spending any money here. And essentially what we're doing is we are resizing the image. The thing to remember is always uncheck this aspect ratio because you could be making the horizontal and the vertical different sizes. It's not going to keep the same ratio. So the horizontal is going to be 3840 and the vertical is going to be 2160. <coughs> Excuse me. Click on OK. And now we're going to save this as Panorama Resized. OK, put out this. Now, what we need, well, we've got this uh, image now. It looks very much very, very important into YouTube to look okay. Now, what we need to do is take the take this still image and make a movie out of it. So again, we are going to be using a free tool called Microsoft Movie Maker, and we will take our image, oops, and import it into here. Now you can put uh, sound if you want to. You can increase the duration of this. Let's just make it say up oh, 15 seconds. And now I'm gonna actually save it as a as a movie. Okay, done. Now, the next step is that we need to actually inject the 360 metadata. So this is a tool that you have to download from uh, YouTube. I'll put all the links, by the way, in the description uh, for the composite editor, for the uh, uh, where to download the composite editor, where to download the... Uh, the metadata injector and obviously the movie maker also so we'll op uh, open this up uh, click on open movie. open click on spherical make sure this is unchecked do a save as my movie injected save and quit Now what we need to do is go to YouTube and actually upload that movie we just did. There you go. And while it's uploading, uh, it's always a good idea to make this private uh, to start with. Uh, so all the people that have subscribed to your channel don't immediately get notification that you have uploaded a new video. So you're gonna let this run and once it's uh, done uploading it will process and then you click on the publish. So let's uh, zoom forward. Okay so now you see this movie has been uploaded. If you click here uh, it's gonna play and let's just click loop so it doesn't stop and there you have it you can move it around you can do whatever you want to do with this so that's all there is to creating uh, 360 videos using a digital camera or better still using your trusted smartphone if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos uh, like this please subscribe thank you